You've been quoted as saying that the, in terms of development, perhaps the, the, the focus on this year's car cools off a little bit at, at this period, um, and perhaps the emphasis turns a little bit to 2013. But being in the thick of, of the constructors and, and drivers' championships, I suppose, at the moment, mm. um, might this be a year when perhaps the focus remains on the E20? Um, well, you, you only have a, a certain amount of room for manoeuvre. Uh, the new season kicks off at a certain point next year and no one gives you any grace to show up late with your car. You have to be ready. And there are certain parts of that car that require a number of months to get ready. Um, and, and you cannot, beyond a certain point, put that off. You have to be putting the resource into doing it. So when I say that the, the activity on the current car calms down, that's by necessity, and that will be true in every team that intends to be in the championship next year. Within that, however, there is, there is room for manoeuvre. And I think one of the things that our team has got a little bit wrong in the last couple of seasons is that we have put, uh, we've been too ready to put all, to switch over to the new car a little bit too soon. Um, so we, we started this year consciously, int consciously intending to uh, develop this one a bit longer than normal. Now, that's only a phasing issue really. What we decided to do was to push a little bit harder with next year's car in the first half of the season. So we've already ploughed effort into next year's car at a greater level than we have done in previous seasons. So would you say that there are maybe, might it also be the case that some of 2013's parts might find the, themselves on the car this season? No, not really, because the effort you plough your, the effort you put in is on uh, on parts that really are not compatible with, with this year's car. It's about finding out what wheelbase you're going to have, what suspension layout you're going to have, uh, all the sort of fundamental architectural decisions. But we've paid the price for that already. We've already made that investment. Any impact that had on our development program has already been accounted for in what we've achieved so far this year. Yeah. And then what it's done by putting a little bit more effort in up front, it means it buys us a bit of freedom after the break to keep developing this car for a bit longer. Yeah. So we haven't put any less into next year, we've just changed it around a bit. Yeah. Um, but given that the development we've done so far this year seems to have kept pace with the others during a period where we've been putting a bit more emphasis on next year, it gives me a good feeling about uh, the second half of the season.